Yeah, we need to call the decision meeting back in the regular session. Goodies. Some goodies for everybody. Made some calendars this year, and what what these calendars are? There are pictures of the 13 KLBIP projects that we did in Northwest Kansas. So you, your bridge is in there, but it kind of gives you an idea what other counties, what kind of structures they built compared to yours, which yours was a concrete box. December. Okay. So I haven't came to it yet. Yeah, we stuck yours in December since it has snow and everything. Kind of <laughs> looks like a winter photo. <laughs> so, but this is a program we keep trying to get them to fund again, and they they haven't done it. So. But that was a good program for a lot of counties out in this area. Yeah, I mean, thirteen. Well, we did thirteen, and I know Ellis, Russell, and. Norton County also took advantage of that program. So actually 16 of the 18 counties in Northwest Kansas benefited from this program. Well, that's great. So I hope, it, I hope it continues to be funded. I hope they do. I mean, for 160,000 of state money, you guys got a bridge for 20,000 or so, probably of your own money, somewhere in that area. Plus yeah. you had to do the in-kind services, but. Still, that's fantastic for small counties. Yeah. See, your bridge inspections are not due this year, so we won't be doing them. We, we don't have year. any on the annuals anymore, so. Yeah, we got all of them taken care of. Good. So it'll be a year before we have to do any more bridges, inspections anyway. We are, I guess I did bring a list of bridges that we are going to load rate this year. And this is through the, the KDOT load rating program. There's 24 of them, and this is all funded through the state, so there won't be any cost to the county for reviewing these structures and load rating these. Unless there's solid replacement? Maybe. Yeah, that's, you know, if the load rating changes, you may have to buy new weight limit signs, yeah. either to post the bridge or raise the posting or whatever. That would okay. come about due to the program. If you see a bridge on there that you're concerned about that may not load rate out very well, we can change it, switch, switch it with another bridge. Okay. I haven't looked at it that close. I don't think Jordan came up with really, he wasn't concerned with anything on the list, I guess. Okay. So. But this is year three of that program. So you didn't have any last year, right? You would have probably had some in year one. That seems right. Yeah, so I think they try to hit each county every other year. So you don't get hit every year. I guess there are some counties that their bridges aren't in the best of shape, and when we reload rate them using the new methods and everything, they end up lowering them, and a lot of them end up having to be closed. Yeah. Do they figure on the age of the concrete when you load rate them? Just the condition, not really the if age. It's not cracked. You don't worry as much about it. Yeah, you just kind of look at the condition of it. Now there is some older structures that weren't, you know, they were built with three thousand pound concrete. We know in the standard, so that's what we have to use when we load rate it, not the four thousand. So. Okay, makes sense. But that's all we got going on right now. I just want to stop by and say hi and well, we appreciate thank you for using us for your engineering services. And thank you very much. And wish you a happy new year. We missed Christmas, so I hope everybody had a good Christmas. So thanks again for everything. All right, thank you, sir. I just see this uh, off system 82. I'm thinking that's the one out going to Tony Ginger's place. It catches very little traffic, but. And I know that 42 is the one that's north of Matt Martin's. Ed probably knows what that is, so better than that. I think it's still in good shape. It's still in good shape. Yeah, I hope. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Thank you. I'll leave this later. All right, thank you. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I know somebody still. They're cleaning up a bunch of junk or other. Well, I know General Annenberg. He's going to get the little cross from me now with Jim Simmons. Yes. Oh, yeah, Lex, not Jim. Those are three cans of beer each. <laughs> maybe I can't. I just told him we didn't. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, it is hurt from Robin and sold for twenty two hundred dollars. Right, but I need a motion so for that. You're saying that's better than that's the better than that, yeah. Because we got. Did you hear that, Roger? The ambulance sold for twenty two hundred dollars. The uh, scrap offer was only fifteen. Okay. So, right. If we don't get funds for it, okay. But not a lot of use for one of them. No, there's really no. Well, that and have that whatever diesel engine. Yeah, it's got a 24 volt system too. It's just. Floors just needs a motion. Originally, we we had this grant funds of twelve thousand four seventy eight seventy five, and we was only funded for ten thousand. So we need a motion to do the transfer of that balance. Back out of the grant fund. No, into the grant fund. Into the grant fund. We need to reimburse the grant fund. Okay. By okay. Two thousand. By two thousand four hundred seventy-eight dollars and seventy-five cents. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Transfer sheet. Oh God, yeah. We're all done. Always fill it out. She's good at it. And where are you transferring it from? This must be our new system then? Okay. Where? So what department? From solid waste? Yes, solid okay. waste. 